Hi everyone! So, I know that Christmas has passed, but I already made this project, so I thought, you know what they say, better late than never. So stay with me and let's get back to the Christmas mood once again. I will make this page in the handy size journal from Art by Merlin. And also I will use her 2023 advent calendar, which is full of some fabulous stencils. What I like about this advent calendar that the stencils included are good for all year projects and not only for Christmas or New Year ones. Now my focal elements will come from paper elements booklet from Out of This World collection. But first let's start with the background. First two stencils that I will be working with are from the day 3 and day 9 and through them I will apply the Crafters Workshop Pearl White Stencil Butter. I really like to work with the Crafters Workshop Stencil Butters because they are so smooth and easy to spread and this particular one has a, such a beautiful shine as well. I didn't want to cover the whole background with the stencil so I am just applying it over a couple of random places on the paper. Now, I know most of you already know this, but let me tell it just in case. When working with structure pastes of any kind, I think it's uh, best to right away wash your stencils or at least put them in a bowl of water so they wouldn't get ruined and they will last longer for you. While my structure paste was drying, I uh, took time to fussy cut my focal elements as they have this uh, thin outline. This is uh, of course an optional step, just uh, when creating our journal pages I think these images blend in with the background better and the whole thing looks more neat. But uh, sometimes when creating cards I do st uh, skip this step because in certain cases I don't find it necessary. Now, when doing fussy cutting, there is another step which I always do, and that is to go around my edges with the Pigma Micron brush pen, usually in black or sometimes more rarely in brown color. This way your fussy cuts look more neat. While I was taking care of my focal images, I came to a realization that I feel them not enough for the size of the page, so I decided to draw some additional elements. And my choice was to draw a couple of candy canes. And I think they are really fairly easy to draw. But just to be sure, I decided to go with the graphite pencil because I can make little fixes like these one, as you can see. Also, as you might have noticed, this piece of paper comes from the Spectrum Noir marker pad as I uh, decided to color my elements using uh, alcohol markers. As uh, you will see soon, I struggled a bit with my bow. It didn't turn as I like it from the very start, but I decided this time to show you this uh, whole process of struggle, because honestly I am not really that pro at drawing, but it just takes a little bit of patience and practice, and I bet you can do it too. Altogether, I decided to draw three candy canes, and when I was more or less happy with my drawing, 
I went all over the shapes using uh, again Pigma Micron pen in black color. And now time for some coloring. This time I decided to go with my Copics. And here I will choose two shades of red, as I still wanted my candy canes to have some dimension. Now the white part can be left as it is, but once again for more dimension I would recommend using uh, either bright uh, blue, icy blue color or some cold grey color like I did just here towards the edges. And I think that really helps uh, for your elements to look more 3D. Oh, and sadly I forgot to record the part when I did a little bit of highlights using white gel pen. And anyway, then once again I did some fussy cutting and then of course also with my Pigma Micron brush pen going all over the edges to make the elements look more neat. And here is the final result. I think it really looks nice even though the shape isn't perfect. And now while I was doing all this mess with the focal elements, my background uh, structure piece dried. So it was time to add some colors using uh, Distress Oxide ink sprays in uh, Speckled Egg and Mermaid Lagoon color. Before spraying Distress Oxide sprays, I uh, prepped my paper with some plain water, so the colors would uh, spread and blend better. Now that the background was dried, I wanted to add some more background interest using the stencil from Art by Merlin Advent Calendar Day 3. But this time I didn't want to introduce any new colors, so I will use uh, Distress Oxide ink pad in uh, Mermaid Lagoon, which is actually the same color which I used for uh, background just in uh, Distress Oxide spray form. This way, even though my background has a lot of interest, it won't look too busy. And the viewer eye will still be attracted towards the focal images. And now you know me, when using Distress Oxides, I just can't resist using some water to add some more interest and variety in texture. But of course I will add some more splatters, this time using the white acrylic paint from Art by Marlene called Lace. When my background was dry once again, I decided it was time to adhere my elements. And as you will see, for some of them, like the cat and the house, 
I will use a foam tape though really a thin one because I didn't want too much dimension on this page but for the candy canes I will use a liquid glue now at this point when I look at my page it really comes to my mind that uh, this kind of design can have really worked for a Christmas card as well probably even more when you see how it looks when I add my sentiment Now I decided to take one more stencil and that is from the day 4 where we have these uh, fun looking numbers. Here I wasn't really sure where I was going and as you will see later on I will actually change my mind a bit about the look of this, uh, these numbers. But one idea was clear and that is that I wanted to stencil in the date uh, 24 or the date of the Christmas Eve. At this point you can see the number 24 and I have framed it using Pigma Micron pen but I really wasn't satisfied uh, how it looked and I will soon fix it. But while I was thinking how to fix it I wanted to give some grounding to my focal elements so they don't look like they are just like that, flying in the air, sticked like that. So once again I'm using the same stencil butter from the crafters workshop that I used at the start for making the background interest. Now for fixing my number I decided to go with a very simple solution. I will use a Posca pen in black color just to go over the stenciled elements and instead of making them white make them black. This way it will stand out more and it will match with my sentiment. The sentiment comes from the Christmas nutcracker and I just stamped it using black ink. And here it is. Done. I hope you liked it. And Happy New Year all!